Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my happy place. I recently rearranged my vanity area and I wanted to give you guys a look around and also show you my makeup storage and my makeup collection. So I do have a lot of Ikea going down in this room right now. So I'm going to list everything down below in the info box. If I can remember where I found it, it will be listed down below. So what I have going on now is pretty much a corner vanity. All I did to make this was take two Linman tables from Ikea and I think they were, I think they come in different sizes, but I think they were the medium size. Put them together in this corner. My chair and faux sheepskin throw thingy are also from Ikea. On the left side I just took two table legs out and threw an Alex five drawer underneath there. Let's see what else. The gold lamp that you can see in the mirror is from Urban Outfitters and the mirror itself, I actually found that a couple years back at Home Goods. and to be honest with you, lighting when I actually do my makeup at nighttime can be <laughs> an issue sometimes. I probably could use a lighted vanity but I just can't part with that thing because I love it. It's just so big and gold and I I just cannot part with it but a lot of times I also use the natural daylight from the window just like on this side and that little mirror to do my makeup just had to straighten out those lipsticks they were bothering me okay So on the left side of my vanity over here is my deluxe beauty box by the original beauty box. This is the bigger size and I absolutely love this thing. I'm not going to lie to you guys, it is a bit pricey but I totally consider it an investment because it is just absolutely ridiculous the amount of makeup that you can fit into this thing. So up top, um, let me get this leaf out of the way, <laughs> up top we have my most used Perfume, so Coco Mademoiselle, Jimmy Choo, Midnight Floor, and Flower Bomb, Armani C, and then a little baby bottle of Miss Dior Cherie. In the shallow compartment is where I keep my lip liners and my lip pencils. So I never really thought about it, maybe it's kind of weird to keep them in here, but I think I just like the way they look, honestly. So I have a bunch of MAC over here, those are definitely my favorites, a couple of Smashbox, and then some Rimmel lip pencils as well. Down here I have, on the left side, lip balm. I have a lip balm and an eye cream here by First Aid Beauty. I have a bunch of like lip conditioners. In the back some primers. A lot of them are in, ugh, are in boxes still because I'm trying them out. Benefit Puff Off. This is kind of like an eye gel. This is the Balm Put a Lid on It primer. NYX Angel Veil Abelato Studio Pore Perfecting Primer. I actually really like this one a lot. L'Oreal Miracle Blur. In the front I just got a bunch of different concealers here. I'm pretty much a drugstore concealer fanatic, so I have anything from L'Oreal to Maybelline, the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer, and then this is actually the Prep and Prime Prep and Prime Pen by MAC in Light Boost, and I use that one more for highlighting. In the past, my brow compartment has gotten just a little out of control on like an embarrassing level, but I kind of have just the shades that I'm using right now in here, so gotta have my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomades, uh, and the Brow Wiz over here, just a lot of Anastasia products because they pretty much run the brow game. Brow Gel, and highlighting pencils, this is a wax pencil. Some highlighting pencils by Sigma and Benefit and the Benefit Gimme Brow, which I've been obsessed with, to just really quickly fill them in. It's Oh, it's the best stuff ever. I love this. And then chilling in the back, I have some more brow powders by Sigma and Anastasia. So in this one, on the left side, I keep any kind of powder, like setting powders for concealers and foundations. So I've got to have my NARS Olympia Contour Blush. I like to use the lighter yellow side to set my concealer, and then I'll contour with this side. Benefit Hello Flawless, Rimmel Stay Matte Powders. I also have an Agent Zero Shine in here, which I really like for touching up. A MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Plus, and then just some tinier samples of some Tarte powders, and then this is, I think this is a little tiny Ben Nye Cameo Powder. Hiding in the back, I have this little makeup koozie thing where I keep the NARS Contour Blush in Paloma, and then this is the Light Reflecting Setting Powder in Translucent Crystal. Over here, I have mascaras in the back, so Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, a new CoverGirl one, this is the Full Lash Bloom. Lash Blast Volume, Benefit They're Real. I'm trying to think if there's any other ones I've been trying out. I think that pretty much covers it. Maybelline Falsies. And then in the front is where I keep my pencil and liquid eyeliners. So mostly black and brown shades and then a few gels. This is Motive's Little Black Dress and a Belito liner down here. 
how did I have that? Okay. <laughs> and then we have bronzers and blushes. So I have a few darker shades of MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes, a Maybelline one, this is Bare Minerals, just looks like that, I really love this one a lot, and also the Lorac Tantalizer, which is kind of a liquid luminizer slash bronzer for your body, but it gives you that beachy, dewy glow to your skin, it's really gorgeous, a little mini what's up. Luminizer and then also in the back I have some bronzers in some cooler tones that I mostly use for contouring Benefit Hula and then back here Bahama Mama by the Balm and then this one This is a Motives contouring compact So when it comes to blushes I usually like to keep my go-to colors in here the shades that I use the most and also Maybe colors that I want to remind myself to use up or try so I have a few Tarte uh, ooh, I always want to say the word Johns in my videos, but if you're not from Philly, you don't know what that means. So, these little tart ones were from a holiday collection. I have MAC Warm Soul and Gentle over here. This one is NARS Torrid, and then I also have this one by Ella Masca called Lover, which is a really pretty peach color. I have a few by NYX and a Motives blush in the back, and then these are some Alexa Persico cream blushes. And the MAC Daddy down here... And I do think it's kind of hilarious that I keep my highlighters in the biggest compartment in this thing, but that says a lot about me because I love highlighters. This one is the Mary Luminizer by The Balm. This one is definitely one of my faves. And then Becca Moonstone Highlighting Powder, also Lorac Pro Spotlight Highlighting Powder. All three of those are kind of similar in color. I also have my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. This one is really gorgeous. In the bottom, I have this Bathina... Body Balm by Benefit. So I haven't had a chance to try this one yet, but I thought it would be really pretty for summer because it says it is a glimmering body balm. In the back, I keep lashes that are ready to be reused. So instead of busting into my fresh stash of new false lashes, if I want to wear falsies, I will just reach for these first. And then some lash glue here. I've always had to have House of Lashes glue on hand because it is the best. On this side is where I keep my individual eyeshadows or like smaller eyeshadow palettes and quads. Um, this is These are some Bobbi Brown individual eyeshadows a Motives Cream Shadow in the color Brown Sugar. And then I also have my Naked by Urban Decay. So Naked Flushed and Naked Basics and Naked Basics 2. I have a couple of NARS eyeshadows and quads and then I usually only buy MAC singles in my favorite colors. So I pretty much have my all-time favorite classic go-to MAC shades in here. Uninterrupted, which is one of my favorite transition colors, a Makeup Forever Trio, Maybelline the Nudes palette, and then I also have some MAC Paint Pots here, and some Motives Cream Eyeshadows, and then this is a NYX White Eyeshadow Base. I don't know why I waited so long to get on the Alex 5 Drawer bandwagon. This thing has totally changed my life. In this top drawer, I keep... It's a little creaky, but that's okay. This drawer is kind of just like an extension of my vanity top because I keep all of the palettes that I use the most in here, and basically all of the palettes that used to clutter up my vanity the most and now I just keep them in here and I work right from this drawer when I'm doing my makeup. So I have my little matte quad with my most used MAC eyeshadows, some Anastasia eyeshadow palettes. This is a really pretty Tarte holiday palette and then I also keep my Makeup Geek eyeshadows and my Z palettes underneath there. I always keep a little pack of makeup remover wipes in this too for easy access because they always come in handy. Back here I have some flatter eyeshadow palettes on my Lorac Pros, Nude Tude by The Balm, and then my beloved Lorac Unzipped palette. I'm Reezy and Lavish by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow palette by BH Cosmetics. A Park Avenue Princess Contouring Palette by Tarte. And then my Anastasia Contour Kit. On this side are blush palettes. So again, I have a couple Z palettes filled with some Makeup Geek blushes and some individual MAC blushes as well. And then this is the Tarte Pinup Girl blush palette. Oh, 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 hi guys. <laughs> and more palettes. So I have my MAC eyeshadow palettes in here with all of my individuals. So if I need those, I can get them really quickly. And all of my Urban Decay Naked, Nakeds, Few Sigma, some palettes that I think have really cool artwork. So BH Cosmetics Wild Child, another BH Cosmetics here, and then this one is Esperanza by Kat Von D. 
bam. Okay, and here, bronzers, there's just more cheek products and face products. So bronzers, blushes, that kind of thing. Uh, don't even know where to start. Milani, they make really good drugstore blushes. So I have a bunch of those. These are some boxed blushes by Hard Candy. I think you can find these at Walmart. And also a few by Benefit as well. In this little section, I have liquid, or what do you call these? Cheek stains, wow. Oh boy. Some cream cheek color, Stila convertible color. This one is by Urban Decay, and then another one by Corez. And then next to that, some Tarte Amazonian Clay, Wet n Wild blushes, uh, NARS Multiples, some Sigma MAC Cream Color Base. This should probably be back here. What looks like an Ancient Bare Minerals product. Oh no, that's well rested. That's good to go. Maybelline highlighting blushes. This is a little tube of Gleam by Melanie Mills, which is really similar to the Lorac body bronzer I showed you earlier. This is one of my favorite body bronzers of all time by Laura Geller. The Baked Body Frosting in Tahitian Glow. I love this thing. It's so gorgeous on your shoulders or your arms or your chest. It's like a special event or something like that. Some more hard candy blushes and bronzers which kind of double as highlighters too. Sonia Kasha. And then looks like I have some NYX blushes hiding in the way back here. Some NYX single blushes and these are some limited edition MAC products. So this was like a bronzer from the Riri collection, Light Scapade, Mineralized Skin Finish, Maybelline, and the NYX matte bronzers which are really nice. Also these Sigma cream color, what are they called? Shimmer cream. These are actually really, really pretty. They're similar to like a cream color base by MAC which is what I have right in front of them here foundations and face products. Um, these little clear organizers, I forgot to mention, I got those from the container store as well. And then in this one, I have all my bottle foundations. So Bobbi Brown, some L'Oreal, True Match Lumi, and this is a Smashbox Liquid Halo, Revlon Age Defying, Tarte Amazonian Clay, Maybelline, this is Estee Lauder Double Wear, my MAC Pro Longwear Concealers and Studio Fix Foundation, NYX BB Cream, Belato Sheer Tints, and then this is Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. Also, some more primers, and then just some other powders, Ben Nye, Makeup Forever, and then I also keep a little stash of eyebrow products back here. Some backups. This is drugstore foundations mostly. CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Collection. Some drugstore powders. Revlon Color Stay Whipped. CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream. And L'Oreal Magic Nude. And then I also have some Motives powders as well. And now down here is a little smorgasbord of products that I still need to try out. These are also backup products. A lot of Maybelline in here. I know you guys aren't going to believe me, but I actually pretty much know where everything is in here. Even though it looks crazy, it's actually in my mind organized. So <laughs> obviously I have to go through those. Not all those foundations match me. And... Okay, so we're going to go back up to my vanity, and on this side I have a few odds and ends. I keep some brushes in this little brush holder cup by Sigma. I also have this Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation out here in this dish here from... I think this is from Urban Outfitters. I keep a few little potions on here. The Lancome, Lancome Grandiose Mascara, Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. This is a little bottle of Tarte Maracuja Oil, which I use to bring my dip brow pomades back to life and just for lots of little things. And I really like this dish too. Again, that's from Urban Outfitters. As far as my lipsticks go, these clear organizers are from Amazon. If I can find them, I'll to them below. I have some NARS lipstick in this one. Maybelline. I always keep my Milani lipsticks out because they're so gold and if you haven't been able to tell by now, I love gold anything. Some Belato lipsticks. These are by Melt. Um, these are all my Dose of Colors lippies as well. And then this pink lipstick organizer here is actually from By Allegory. They have all different color makeup organizers. Pink and purple and they're really cute actually so I'll link to that down below too and I keep my MAC lipsticks in this one and a little random Too Faced melted fig 
And then in the way back, mm, mm, I have some, this is a extra backup beauty blender. Then this is a Motives Cosmetics blending sponge. So I have a little separate container for brushes that I have used once or twice and I can kind of just keep in my rotation and keep using that I don't really have to wash yet. And um, I also keep hair clips to pin my hair back, my eyelash curler. And then back here I keep the rest of my brushes that are clean and I have eyeshadow brushes in this container and then face brushes back here, some foundation brushes by BH Cosmetics and Sigma, and then some more Sigmax brushes right here, which I need to clean. I use those for foundation. These containers I got from Michaels, and in there is beanbag filler, which is basically, I think it's called polyfill. You can find it at craft stores, and then this is like a little candle holder. Okay, and then back in that little nook there, I actually have another piece of wood. This is from just a random shelf that I had laying around to cover up the hole because these two tables actually fit really snug in that corner back there but I wanted this one to come out further so I had more space oh, arm in the camera so I pulled it out from the wall and just threw a piece of wood that I had from another shelf laying around on top of it to cover up the hole and you can't really tell unless you see the side of the wood right there So this is a three drawer acrylic case from Muji and on top of that I have another lipstick organizer with some Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks, some NYX lipsticks, Lime Crime Velveteens over there in the corner and then these are some cute little buxom lipsticks from a holiday set. Me and my friend actually got each other the same Christmas gift the year before last and we didn't even know it. So that's what <laughs> these were from. Great minds think alike. <clears throat> in the top drawer of my Muji case, I have all my MAC pressed pigments, some colorful eyeliners, some more single shadows, Stila eyeshadows, magnificent metals, foil eyeshadows, and some glitter eyeliners. Some Motives quads, Motives eyeshadows, um, Makeup Forever glitters, Napoleon Perdie, eyeshadow and then just some more colorful eyeliners and then in this candle holder I just have a bunch of different lip glosses so mostly NYX butter glosses I have an OCC lip tar in here and a few tubes of the Becca beach tints which I love String lights are from Urban Outfitters. This is my Himalayan, this is my Himalayan salt lamp. It is so funny. I don't think I've ever gotten more questions about anything in my background than I have about this salt lamp. I was really into learning about natural ways to clean your house and detoxify your house and all this stuff. I was really into it, but anyways, I researched about it online. It's an actual chunk of salt from um this is supposed to, when you turn this on, and releases negative ions or something fancy into the air and it naturally detoxifies your air, but um, I just like the way that it looks. Here's a little closer look at my Himalayan salt lamp. I don't know if you can see this, but like, this is a legit chunk of salt. It's salty over here, kids. So I just have a few books over here and a tiered lipstick organizer from the container store where I just keep a bunch of Maybelline lippies and also these NYX macaroon lipsticks. Not exactly sure how to say that, but they're really colorful. This mirror I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Jewelry organizers from Urban Outfitters. And then this is a little tanning towel from Baleto Studio that I haven't tried out yet. And then I like to keep my camera out that I use to take Instagram pictures so that I can remind myself to take pictures of my makeup after I'm finished doing it. And this is the Sony Alpha 6000. Then I also have my new 2015 planner so I can stay organized, girl. This is another organizer by Beauty Box. This is the original size. On top of here, I keep another cup with Lip glosses, these are mostly Sigma lip glosses, a little makeup bag by Benefit, and then also this is the new Lime Crime Venus palette, which is absolutely beautiful and I'm basically obsessed with. 
uh, Majorette Cream Blush. And then in this section, I keep the rest of my MAC lipsticks. This is a Sigma Lip Concealer, which just looks like that. And then also a tube of Violet Voss Glitter Glue. Speaking of glitter, this is where I keep all of my glitter. And these are limited edition holiday pigments by MAC. These are some more MAC pigments here. Violet Voss Glitters. Motives Cosmetics Glitters, can't talk, which are really pretty. And on this side, some Makeup Geek pigments. And yeah, I just mostly keep pigments and loose shadows and glitters and things like that in here. These Sigma pigments are bomb. I love those. Sugar Pill also. Here is where I keep a lot of my cream shadows. I have Maybelline color tattoos on this side and also some potted gel liners from Sigma and NYX and a few MAC ones as well. And then over here is where I keep my Maybelline eyeshadow quads, which are probably my favorite drugstore eyeshadows. And then this drawer uh, gets a little intense, but I discovered I could really easily store a bunch of lip products down below here if I put them in here vertically and just kind of try to pack it full so that they don't all fall over when I pull one out. And it works out pretty well. I have Maybelline Vivids, some of the Color Whispers, and these are just a bunch of different drugstore, like some Revlon lipsticks here, L'Oreal, Wet n Wild, and some NYX Butter Lipsticks. I have glosses on this side, some Beauty Addicts glosses, Whitening Lightning. I also have different Tarte Lip Surgeons and Revlon Color Stay Lacquer Bombs. I also have some of the Rimmel Color Show Lip Lacquers and Smashbox Lip Lacquers and Maybelline Glosses. And then down here I'm just keeping a few of my newer babies, Smashbox Double Exposure, Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar and the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. So here's the door to this room right here and I moved the turquoise chest that I used to have in my background just sits in front of me now when I film. And it's actually from a website called Home Decorators. Dot com, so I'll link to that down below. So I did just move this over here, so I don't really have a lot of stuff on top of this yet, but I have a little cup filled with NYX jumbo eye pencils and eyeshadow pencils, things like that. It also seems to have become a magnet for false lashes. And then I have this Benefit Bling Brow Kit too. This is where I keep my Belito Studio airbrush machine and I also have, they recently came out with makeup too, so I have some of those products in here. Lashes, lashes, and more lashes. I have Ardell and most of these pink boxes are all House of Lashes, definitely my favorite high-end falsies. This little eyelash case is also from House of Lashes. I have a bunch from Dose of Colors, some backup lash glue and eyelash curlers too. In here is where I keep extra skincare products or products that I really want to try. I have a bunch of First Aid Beauty and Benefits. These are little samples of different products and here I have some skincare samples. These are mostly face masks. This is where it gets a little random. Um, I have some sleek eyeshadow palettes in here, Sigma palettes, and um, some Too Faced, a beauty blender, cleanser, solid soap, and just some extra brushes as well. Urban Decay Vice palette. This is also a little random. I have a bunch of drugstore eyeshadows in here, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, NYX, Revlon, some Sigma eyeshadow bases, and then below, oops, Below that, anything and everything you would need to basically get creative in here. I have a hard candy glow all the way, body luminizer, some flash tattoos, which are really fun. I have a bunch of those and rhinestones, some craft sponges, glitter, starfish. You guys might remember that from my Halloween tutorial this year. Some gold leaf, more glitter, more rhinestones more sequins. <laughs> is there any girl on this planet that doesn't have an issue with storing their styling tools? I mean, really, where do you put those things? I just used to have them in the bathroom, in here, in my bedroom, everywhere, and one day I just took them all and threw them in this big drawer on the bottom of this thing, and it's been working out really well because they don't get tangled up or anything like that. So that is it for my makeup collection and storage. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was a long video, but it was so highly requested and I haven't done one of these in a hot minute. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you back here very soon in my next video. Bye guys.